Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel, spirit, guys, ancestors, and mind of the highest light. Right. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please, and thank you. You got some people that's watching, that's watching you, that's heavily burdened. But you got somebody that's watching you, that's burdened, because maybe in the past their heart was closed off. And now whoever this person is want to give you equal give and take. I feel like this person could be watching maybe a social media. Okay. Yeah, this person now want a relationship. Now this person want to give you, you know, a love offer here. But maybe they don't know if that's what you want now. They want to move towards common waters with you. They want to move again with you. But in the past, they were so closed off that they, they think that you may not want it no more. Um, let's see. Why was this person so closed off? For one, this person wanted to be alone. This person had got comfortable being alone, doing things alone, just them. Yeah, this person was happy being single by themselves. And when you all met, maybe this person was just looking for a friend or, you know, something like that. I don't feel like this person knew that it was going to turn into what it turned into. I don't feel like when you all first met your person knew that y'all was maybe going to fall in love or whatever. Because he was so set in stone that he wanted to be single and he wanted to be alone. And, like, he was comfortable being that way. Yeah, he had his guard up, too. But he felt like he would be more happy to himself. But some of y'all, this man ain't even got no kids. Because on this card right here, it's just, it's just, it's just him. It ain't nobody else. It ain't no kids or nothing for her. So definitely this reading is for you if your divine masculine don't have any children. Okay. You got mom. Let's see. Let's keep going. I feel like your person chose to be single and was so comfortable being single is because it was so many knives in his back by so many different people. Let's see how many are in here. Let's see. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Child, you got 22 things stuck in here like these little sticking things. Your person could have been hurt throughout his life by 22 people or up to 22 times. That's a lot of times, ain't it? That's why he was comfortable being to himself. That's why his guard was up. And also, whoever your person is, your person felt like it was cheaper being alone. Like when you're, <laughs> okay, your person felt like, when you buy yourself, you save more money. Okay? I'm also picking that up, too. Because when you're in a relationship, the man usually would take care of you. So the household things, take care of the bills. Uh, instead of you going out just getting you something, 
you know, you're getting your girlfriend or your wife something. And especially if the if the girlfriend or the wife got kids. So now it, it would be just you buying something for you. Now you got to buy something for your girlfriend, your wife, and the children. You see what I'm saying? Especially if this is a man that ain't got no kids. You see what I'm saying? And it's always just been him. You know, this was somebody here that got comfortable with just him. Even buying stuff for himself, you know, with just him. Only clothes for himself, only meals for himself. That's it. But but definitely because it was a lot of a lot of people that stabbed your person in the back. Like I said, on this thing right here, it's like 20, 20 it's 22 of them in all. So like I said, you know, that's how many people could have betrayed him, or how many times, you know, people uh could have just did things to this person, you know what I'm saying? Over time, over time, and whatever. Yeah. So y'all, your person, he went out. I feel like he had a good time going out, right? Your person was so guarded. It's like he liked going out. Your person is very outgoing. He's very adventurous, okay? He's definitely very social, uh, uh, extrovert. I definitely feel like he's an extrovert here, okay? He also could work a lot as well because it looked like this man got a phone. He could be checking something. But it's still on this picture, it looked like he's having a good time by himself, but he's very guarded. So it's like he talked to people, he communicate with people, he's very outgoing. But when it comes to forming a relationship at first, he didn't want that because he got so used to being it being just him. But he, he had this huge guard up because of all this betrayal. He had some emotions. I feel like when you all first met, it was just a little bit. And then over time, they grew stronger. Once he felt like he could trust you or it's like once he seen that you were a really good person, like or the type of love that you give or something like that, it's kind of like you made his wall come down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And he started to like grow feelings for you and started to um, catch feelings. Okay. And he started... Uh, he started to love you. He started falling in love with you here. Okay. <laughs> y'all, your person might have felt like you were too good for him. Because this is somebody, y'all, that's uh, adventurous. This is a person that gets out, extroverted, okay, that does things. You could be somebody that's like a, a hermit in the house. You really don't go out. You don't do nothing too much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and your person felt like you all were really different because you don't do things too much. Y'all literally probably go to work. And go home, you probably watch a little TV, cook a little food or something, but you be good in the house. Like, you been in the house is your comfort zone, right? I don't even feel like y'all have a whole lot of people at your house. You just love being at home. You feel good, right? And your person, he loves to be out because on every picture, he out, okay? But at the same time, he guarded as well. You know what I'm saying? He liked being alone. He liked doing things. You know, you all could have maybe started your spiritual journey or some of you all could be, you know, very religious or whatever. And not saying that your person, you know, didn't have a connection with God, but I feel like when you all met. But yeah, I feel like when you all met, you started your spiritual journey. Okay, so you all definitely could have been practicing abstinence. You could have been celibate. Some of y'all might not have smoked. If y'all used to smoke or drink, you know what I'm saying? Start eating healthy, like a healthier 
healthier habits, lifestyles, like everything. You know what I'm saying? You started to take things more seriously and whatever. Um, you all uh, definitely uh, went through like this healing, this healing stage, right? And your person, I don't feel like had gotten there yet. And so your person could have felt like maybe you were a little bit too good or y'all was just way too different. You know what I'm saying? Like way too different. And that was another reason why. Um, I, another reason why I feel like he could have had his guard up because it's like, mm, <laughs> is this somebody I really want to let my guard down with? Because it don't even look like we into the same things. It looked like she go to church Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. <laughs> it don't look like she go nowhere it don't look like she do anything it don't look like she go to no bars it don't look like she go to no clubs it don't look like she travel like that like <laughs> so he like do we really have anything in common like you know what i'm saying like that's how your person was thinking like literally okay and in a way kind of a little boring he could have felt that way y'all okay because it's like uh <laughs> You know, if, if I want to get out, if I want to, you know, go here, is she going to want to go or is she just going to want to sit in the house? Like, you know what I'm saying? Your person maybe felt like it. Like I said, it was just a lot of differences and whatever. <laughs> yeah. I do feel like y'all... Um, I do feel like your person um, felt like you put him on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? It's like you expected more out of him more than what he could do or what he could give you or something. That's also what I'm picking up on as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Your person could got a, could have a luxury car. You could have a luxury car. Okay. Or this is something that maybe your person could be looking into. Maybe getting you. Let's see what this is. luxury car here. Okay, that's too many. What's this luxury car? Yeah, I think it's going to be some type of surprise because when I asked, it it nothing came nothing came out when I asked what that what that is. So y'all, it could be a surprise. So spirit do not want me to ruin the surprise on that. So we ain't gonna go deep into that. Okay. So if you ain't got no luxury car, okay, you can kind of know what this is, right? Okay. 
So we ain't gonna go deep into that because that's definitely a surprise there. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Give me some more history. Give me some more. Oh. Y'all. Your divine masculine is getting you a house built. Getting y'all a house built. Y'all about to be rich. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So guess what? Your divine masculine don't have no kids. Uh, if he was, you you know, if he really wanted to be by himself at one point and all of that, y'all, okay? Um, yeah, because see, your person then came into some type of wealth and success. You got eight of pentacles. Your person worked hard. He's a very, very hard worker, okay? And he could be working hard on his success, okay? So maybe he can do this for you because like i said when you all first met y'all he did not want <laughs> this man was comfortable being by himself y'all okay i'm telling you when he when he go out and he get him a little bite to eat a little meal it, it felt good just paying for it for just him i'm telling you okay because it gets expensive okay when when you have a spouse and insurance and stuff like that one meal costs you what $10.99, $15. And when you get done paying for two adults, two or three or four children, child, you know how much that is? And usually what the man pay for things, right? So <laughs> at first, your person it, he was comfortable doing that, right? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't, you know, I know you know people hurt me in the past, but you know what? Maybe it ain't so bad being to myself and being by myself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it ain't so bad. I'm able to save money. I'm able to do this. I'm able to do that. I'm able to go when I want to, when I please, and do this and that. You know what I'm saying? But not now. Your person right now has been working extremely hard because he has been thinking long and hard about it. And it's like, yeah, you know, it does save money being alone. You know what I'm saying? And... Your person could be calling out the blue, okay? Expect the unexpected call from your person, okay? Now, I don't I don't know if he's going to be coming uh, with a call out the blue like, hey, uh, we getting the house built. And like, I don't feel like it's going to be like that, but I do feel like he's going to call out the blue and maybe see where you at. Like, do is this something that you still want? Do you still want him? You know what I'm saying? T to see if, you know... Like how he want to move because this is something that he want to do for you. Like he's thinking about getting a house built, okay, for y'all. Like a new, like y'all, y'all the first two people in this house. Like that is what he's planning, y'all. I'm telling you, all right. But uh, definitely, he's working a lot for y'all to have a beautiful life, okay. Yeah, your person used to. <laughs> Baby, your person was in and out at first. Okay, sticky move, sticky move. All right. There for a good time and not a long time. Okay, that's exactly how he was at first. And he was this king of pinnacles. You know what I'm saying? He was always about this money. Now, your person always have been about that money. Okay, but his heart was closed off. You hear me? He, he was all about that good time. But when baby, when it came to love and commitment, he was like, Woo, I'm out of there. But things changed because, see, he didn't know he was gonna fall in love with you and get attached to you. You know, maybe when you all met, he thought y'all were gonna be having just good, a good old time. He didn't think that heart was gonna get involved. See, and that's what happened. Okay. That's what had happened. His heart got into it. Okay. And he could have been trying to fight it at first, baby. But what can I say when love calls your name? <laughs> okay, baby. There's nowhere to hide 
when love was calling your name. And baby, it was nowhere for your person to hide. Love was calling. It was, it was nowhere for him to hide. He had fell for you. It was too late. You know? Shoot. What's this we got to be reading? See that, huh? Okay, now when I clarify we about to be rich, Collector, your energy came out. So maybe your person is saying y'all about to be rich because, see, you done came into some money or you done came into a certain um, amount of success or something like that. Some of y'all could be getting some type of payout in court. Queen of Pentacles and Justice. Eight of Pentacles and Six of One. Okay, so look, boom. Some of y'all going through a court situation. Now, take what resonates and leave the rest. If you know you ain't going through no court situation, just disregard this part. But this part is for somebody. Okay, some of y'all is going through some type of court situation. And you waiting to see if you're going to win or how much you're going to win or something like that. Okay, it is showing where things are going to go in your favor in court. And you're going to receive some type of payout, okay? And it's going to put you in this Queen of Pentacles energy here, all right? Now, I do feel like you all do work very hard with this Eight of Pentacles. You're a very hard worker here, okay? So you all do have a, a certain level of success, okay, already. It's something that you're doing where you're very stable already, okay? With this Six of Wands, it's some, see, it's something that you do in the spotlight because it show where you're going to get some type of recognition, honor, okay? Or it's just something about some type of success that you already have. But, baby, when you receive this this, this payout, y'all, I'm seeing that woman, uh, Bernadine, and waiting to exhale. Y'all, how much money did Bernadine uh, win, y'all? Was it a million? Some millions, wasn't it? Y'all might be winning some millions, y'all. Because that's what I got. Y'all, come in and let me know if you remember how much they said in court. But it wasn't no thousands. I think it was some millions that she ended up getting. Y'all, y'all finna get ready to get some millions of dollars in court from, a, from some type of unjust situation or something. It's something about to be made fair to you. And that's how you're going to come into this money. See, in your person already, I feel like it's successful. I have some money. So that's why your person like, look, we're about to be rich. Because see, both of y'all wealth together, it's a lot, y'all. I'm telling you, it's in the millions. I'm telling you that right now. You hear me? Okay. So it's not just your person coming in and getting all these things for you. It's not just that. Like, you're going to have wealth and you're going to have money, too. Like, y'all going to be putting y'all money together. It's not just him doing it, doing it, doing it. And I don't even feel like the type of woman that you are, that you're going to want him to do everything like that. Unless that's something that he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, you do have some women that's like, no, uh, I don't pay no bills. He pay all the bills. I I'm not really getting that. Okay, and if you are like that, you know, it's, you know, cool. I mean, you have every right to feel how you feel when it comes to that. It's, it's iffy on, on, on that subject. But what I'm picking up on, the Divine Family, you have your own money. So you're not going into this situation just wanting this person to do for you. It's like you want to spoil him too, just like he spoiled you. You want to take care of him. It's things that you want to do for the household just like him. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't want it to be where he's doing everything. Like, he paying your car, his car. He paying all the bills of the house. He paying all the groceries, and you do nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not picking up a divine feminine that's like that. Like, I'm really not. Like, I feel like you're going to want to do things, too. Even if it's the cable or the lights. Even if it's the insurance. Even if he pay... The car note, you want to do the insurance. If he paid the 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 rent, you know what I'm saying? The mortgage or whatever, you're gonna pay the cable, the lights, and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Like you you gonna be you gonna help out too. It's not just gonna be everything on him, just like cooking and cleaning or with children and whatever. He's gonna help with the children. He's gonna take them to school, hit with homework, he's gonna cook, he's gonna wash the same thing with you. 
That's not going to be just your job. Just your only job is just to cook and clean and take care of the house. No, it's going to be, it's like equal between y'all. That's what I'm getting. You see what I'm saying? But y'all going to be rich. It's going to be y'all wealth combined together, not just your persons, even though y'all both got a certain level of success. But collective, divine family, you all about to win some money. Like you all about to get a lot of money in a court situation. Okay, if this ain't happened yet, y'all, maybe there's something that could be happening you don't know about. But especially if you're going through court right now or you're getting ready to go to court, y'all, y'all about to win some money, okay, from, from a, a, a situation, an injustice situation, okay? And he, and he folks or this person going to have to pay you. And it's going to be a lot of money, y'all. It ain't in the thousands, y'all. I'm getting millions, okay? I'm getting millions. Yeah, see, it's because of you the reason why your person love and he trusts. Because I'm telling you, when you first met your person, this man wasn't trying to get his heart invested into nothing. Yes, he could have had good conversation. That one could have been on fire. You hear me? It could have been a top notch. I'm talking, I'm talking about, baby, that junk could have been real good. You hear me? Y'all could have went out, had a good time. But when I tell you, this divine masculine was not looking for that when you all first met. But it's all because of you, the reason why he's changed, though. It's all because of you, the reason why he do want to be in love now. The reason why his guard is down now. The reason why he is in love. The reason why he do trust now. Because now he realized, like, everybody ain't the same. Them 22 people, them 20-some folks that hurt your person, Throughout his life, guess what? He realizing like, bro, everybody ain't the same. And it's because of you. You changed it for this person. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, good people do exist. Good, It is good people in the world. Like real love really exists. It's not just in the movies. You know, he's realizing that. Yeah, he feel like you're wonderful, you know? Yeah, see, your person, see, collective, I feel like in the beginning, the only thing you wanted to do was to prove to your person that real love exists. And you was trying to show him, like, look, it don't matter who hurt you in the past. Like, everybody ain't the same. And you kept trying to stress this to him. Like, look, you can have a happy ending. You can be happy. Like, you don't have to die alone. Like, you don't have to go through life doing things by yourself even if you could feel like that's cool you know you comfortable that's your safe place being by yourself but nobody supposed to be in this world by themselves you know what i'm saying and you could have known that your person was only doing that because he was hurt because come on now who don't want nobody who want to go through this whole life by themselves bro with nobody come on now nobody everybody wants somebody you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs love. Everybody. Come on now. Everybody. Do. What happened when you born? When you born and you don't get that affection and that love. Everybody needs love. You need that. You need that. You see what I'm saying? But your person, you know, let her and let people change him, you know. But, you know, you changed him. You know, you woke him up. You know, and made him realize, like, no, nah, bro, I can't put everybody in the same box because everybody ain't the same. I feel like when your person got hurt that last time, he like, man, women ain't sugar, honey, iced tea like they ain't. I can't trust them. I'm not giving my heart to now another one, you know, but you changed the game up for this person. Look, y'all, why incoming call came out and, and, and a call actually had came through my phone. Which is why, why I said y'all might get an unexpected call. Incoming call, okay, came out. Y'all finna get ready to get an unexpected call from your person. And it's like, he just want to make you smile. Because you tried to make him smile. And you was just trying to make him happy and show him, like, look, you know, you deserve love. You're, lo you're, you're lovable. You deserve it. And I want to give you that. You know what I'm saying? I want to love you. You know, I just want you to accept it because you can love a person all day, but that person has have to accept it. 
You know what I'm saying? If a person ain't willing to accept it, you can love a person and treat them good all day. And you will really be wasting your time if they ain't willing to accept it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> Look, when this person wake up, you the first person uh, on their mind. No matter what this person doing during the day, okay, you're always on this person's mind. He never can stop thinking about you ever. And I honestly feel like he 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 tries to not think about you so, so much because it's a lot, y'all. I'm talking about all through the day. But he, he can't. Like, nothing stops this man from thinking about you, not even on busy days at work. Like, it's, it's like he still thinks about you. It's always something that reminds him of you. Whether he sees somebody with a hairstyle like yours, the same name as yours, the birthday of yours, or a car like yours, or a scent like yours. Like, it's something. It's always something that reminds this man of you. And it's like he never can stop thinking about you. You know? Look, you got me whipped and I done slipped. Yeah, child, you must be tripping. I'm telling you, you them you... You got this man tripping because I'm telling you, this man told himself he wasn't going to be with nobody. He was comfortable being by himself and alone. He said he was going to be by himself for the rest of his life, and he was cool with that. He was just going to be in and out. He was going to have a good time, but he wasn't going to be there for no long time, and he was willing to do that. Not now. I was a child. You got him tripping, okay, because he whipped, and he done slipped, and he done fell in love, okay, but he ready to be your man. Okay, he ready to be your man because he know that he ain't gonna find nothing like this again. He know he ain't, but he definitely y'all got a lot of plans for y'all. Okay, um, a whole lot of surprises, a whole lot of nice things, and I really feel like this is to make it up for lost time because um, it took him a while to get to this point. Okay, a long time. Like I really feel like it took a. Y'all, I really feel like it took this man a long time. Some of y'all could have been waiting a long time for this man to give y'all like a love offer. And y'all was just constantly loving him and trying to prove to him like, you know, he deserved love or, you know, he need to settle down and all of that. You know, like, Spirit, how long has they been on this journey? Y'all, some of y'all, it could have been between eight months to eight years, okay? Now, I said between. I said between eight months and eight years, so it can be any time between that. It could be a year, two years, three, four, five. Now, I ain't all y'all been on this journey for no eight years, but some of y'all, it has been a long time, and I'm getting between eight months to eight years it has been a long time y'all that y'all have been waiting for this thing to come together but for some of y'all something is getting ready to happen next month okay yeah definitely something next month here okay do, 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 do. Next month is what October. So we some of y'all figure get a call next month. All right. But that's all I have for y'all. I hope that this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you. And I do too. Bye y'all.